Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Cypress tutorial, I'm going to discuss how you're going to handle checkboxes and radio buttons within Cypress. So if we go ahead to the documentation of Cypress, there is a check method already available within Cypress that you can use to both handle checkboxes and radio buttons. And there is a lot of documentation here. I'll cover each and every aspect of it so that you can handle any checkbox or radio button doesn't matter which complexity comes from so now say for example i have gone to this particular zoho website which is a demo website you can use right so this is available uh, for free and to get all the features they recommend to sign up but as of now to showcase the checkboxes and radio button from the real website so i have picked up this one because if you go to this configure report layout right so on this particular page if you go to the reports and configure report layout you will see there are checkboxes and the radio button all right now how are we going to go ahead and handle these checkboxes or check all of these checkboxes or some of these checkboxes and select the radio buttons that's what we are going to cover so in this video i'll cover checkboxes in the next one i'll cover the radio buttons okay but approach is almost similar so it's absolutely simple to handle any of the checkboxes and radio button. So let me go back to Visual Studio Code here and we have looked at the dynamic dropdown already in the previous video. So I'll copy the same code here and paste it and I'll rename this to checkboxdemo.cy.js. Okay. So now on this particular file, what we have to do, we have to first visit, right? We have to, I'll change the name of the test case, checkbox functionality and then checkbox demo okay so now let me remove everything here and we just leave with the website that we are going to visit okay so this is the link to open the report okay and i'll simply go ahead and paste okay and i'll keep these headers as of now okay because this is again a you know prod website that is available and it might give some error if we don't add these headers okay so i'll keep it as is and let's see that it opens successfully so if i go ahead and start the testing in chrome browser it should load this particular zoho portal and open the reports because i'm opening the reports page so i'll go ahead with the checkbox demo this has been picked up already okay so you'll see that page has loaded successfully now we have to click on this configure report layout to open that page wherein we get checkboxes and radio button so we'll simply identify the web element and then click on it right so we'll find the css selector for this particular link here okay so let me go back here and i'll go to the reports and then right click and inspect okay or simply if you have selectors hub simply go to the selectors hub and you can quickly we are we copy the relative css select okay so i'll simply copy relative css selector and we'll use it okay i'm not worried about selector or locators as of now too much I'm simply copying it from the tool. You can go ahead and learn about CSS selector in much detail in the CSS selector series that I have posted. Okay, so I'll simply say CSS uh, cy.get and then paste that locator. All right, that has been provided. Okay, so this looks decent locator. We'll use it. You can optimize these if you want to uh, after you learn the CSS selector locator strategies, right? That is the first and foremost thing to learn in the automation but initially you can continue both things parallel okay so i've got this and now what i'll do is i'll simply say dot click click on that particular click right so now if we save it and go back here it should open that report and now we'll start working with the checkboxes and see how checkboxes how we can interact with the checkboxes and you'll see the configure report layout window has opened okay so now how we can handle these checkboxes how we can say uh, whether this is uh, well, I want to you know uncheck organization name I want to check page number generated by generated date etc okay so how we can do it so if you go here in the documentation of Cypress so you can see that we can handle checkboxes using the check method and the syntax is also provided so if you, if I simply say dot check okay so all uh, say for example uh, if I say a particular element or locator of a particular checkbox so if I find a locator, a specific locator for a for a particular checkbox, I'd say dot check, it will check that particular checkbox. For example, in this particular case, if I go ahead and click on in here and I say, okay, I want to click on generated by. Okay, so I'll simply say, okay, right click on that particular locator and I'll say copy relative or a relative CSS selector. Okay, or 
let me inspect and also make sure that this locator is fine I'll open selector sub console and i'll simply paste it here okay but this might change right you will see that there is a it has picked up the id but this id is it, it might be dynamic because it has a number you know it, it could change in next load okay so in this particular case this is not what we should be using so let's try to figure out some other alternative for that okay so what i'll do is i'll quickly go in selector sub and let me disable this id part okay and in the settings so settings of selector sub here you will see the customized ui okay and you can uncheck what you don't need so for example i don't need these uh, x paths to be displayed then i can go ahead and disable those okay so let me keep it as of now and disable it okay so let me try to get the locator again for generated by okay and this time i still think, let me refresh close it so right click inspect generated by checkbox open select all so still it is picking up the id i believe let me disable the id let me close it and try again i'm just doing it because it uh, will be a little quicker all right okay looks like i have to reopen so let me close the browser then it might take that setting right click inspect okay yeah so now you will see that it is taking relative css selector okay i'll copy it it's not the you know it's very very lengthy css selector let me try deleting few stuff here and i think it should still work yeah so it is yes uh, and let me optimize it a little bit this is not the best way to optimize but then uh, let's try to make it a little smaller okay so let me more things there yeah so let me just copy this bit okay and then use it to click on this okay so let me go here and now we'll simply go ahead and say cy.get and that will get me to that particular checkbox right so this locator will get me to that particular checkbox and then the next thing is basically simply to click on it right so simply say click on it all right and you can see you know this is not the most efficient css selector that i have taken here okay this this is not how you should be doing it so the best way is to basically you know write the most optimized locator okay as of now i'm doing it quickly so i'm just copying it from selectors hub and pasting it here so now let's go back and see if it works and it clicks on that particular checkbox that i have identified based on the locator and you can see that generated by has been clicked successfully all right so this is how you are going to click on a particular checkbox now let's go back to the documentation and see few more things so now i can also check based on the value right if the values are present or value is present against a checkbox what exactly the value is so if i go to a particular checkbox okay let me inspect it so in the html dom you will see against a particular checkbox there will be a value attribute okay and will will have a particular so for example here you will see that there is an input it is a type checkbox there will be a value as well okay for example i think it's there for the radio buttons yeah you you see this value and it has a particular text against the value okay so i can specify what radio button or what checkbox i want to select based on the value as well but because in these checkboxes there is no value and that is why these become a little tricky okay and that is why we have to rely completely on the locators of these particular checkboxes now say for example i have to click on all the check boxes all right so i can use generic okay so i can use say for example in this particular case i know that there is a type check box so what i can do is you can see here based on the type as well i can go ahead and if i say dot check it will check all the check boxes that are there that match based on the type okay so instead of selecting a specific check box so that was the example for selecting a specific check box this one wherein we have to specify a particular locator if we have a value attribute against a particular locator or uh, against a particular checkbox then we can say something like cy.get okay and paste that type so based on the type and then we can say dot click okay and within the brackets we can specify the options right so options basically you'll see that if we go further here down so we can say dot check and based on the value so we'll say dot check and provide the value here whatever the value is associated against that particular checkbox right so for example here the checkbox there is a id and the value is subscribed 
so i want to click only on the subscribes and i'll just specify within this check the subscribe in the single quote if i want to select multiple then i pass multiple values in the array here so sub for example subscribe and accept okay that's what we'll do so for example here in this case i'll say okay click on us or click on something else okay if it is present if those values are present so those two check boxes which will have this value us and aud will then get checked now because these check boxes that i am demoing at the moment doesn't have any of the value attached then that option is not going to work so we have to if you have to specify a particular click on a particular check box then you have to find a specific locator for that particular check box and then click it and that is what we have done in this particular case all right now if i have to select all the check boxes okay so i'll simply say okay all the check boxes will have the type check box and then you simply say dot click okay and this will click on all the check boxes that are present on that particular page okay let's see what will happen i have saved it and then it will auto execute let's see whether it selects all the check boxes or not. okay so there is an error let's see what exactly the error is the first one is selected right which is a specific one but that we selected but here i knew that this is error uh, this error is going to happen because it can only be called on a single element so your your uh oh, okay so click so it contained multiple elements so we can say okay pass multiple true right so this is basically what we have to specify right so ideally it should as, as per their documentation it should actually work okay so if we go here you will see at the top itself that because it is returning multiple right so it should so cy dot get type checkbox check it should it is a correct usage it should actually work check element check uh, check um checkbox element right ah okay so this will this will check the checkbox element only if one is present but if we go further down here let's see if there are options so yeah check all the checkboxes right so it should actually work because as per their example dot check should work it will select all the checkboxes all the radio button but in case it is not maybe in the latest version of cypress they have changed it okay but this error that we are seeing is clearly showing what exactly we have to do right so we simply pass multiple true when we are clicking and that should solve the issue so i'll simply copy that multiple true and this is where you should be reading these errors and that will give you a lot of confidence exactly what's going on and how you can go ahead and fix it right so i'll here say because this is returning multiple check boxes i'll simply say okay multiple true and then click on it okay so within click i'm saying multiple true it is re-executing it has opened and you can see that it has clicked on all of them right so first three were first i mean this was selected this was already selected and that is why uh, initially with the first statement here so with this it selected this one this generated by an organization name and report basis was already selected so these three got deselected and others got selected right with multiple true so these are the things that basically in the error logs if you if you are getting now this documentation might it's it's mostly up to date but in case there is something which doesn't work then error logs will help you to basically go ahead and rectify the issues as we just did now okay now the next thing is basically uh, i've also explained based on the value you can select multiple uh, single if you have to select you can select based on the value uh, and the type combination or use the exact locator that we have used in this particular case now this locator strategy you go ahead and learn from my css selector series that will give you good understanding and you will be able to write a better selector instead of this this is very lengthy and might be you know it's not very robust select but as of now because the context is to understand the select of the check boxes so this is all okay now the next thing is let's go back here if say for example we want to validate right so we want to validate whether this uh, checkbox is visible invisible check checked or unchecked that is something which will go and understand in the validation section of this particular course wherein we are going to validate the details as part of the so that's all about the concept of how you are going to handle checkboxes in within cypress i hope this was helpful thank you see you in the next lecture